Well, let's take you to South Korea now, where in recent months, commuters in the capital, Seoul, have been riding the world's first driverless night bus. Now, while self-driving taxis are slowly becoming more common in certain parts of the world, autonomous public transport in city centres is virtually unheard of. But is it all cracked up? Well, Nick Marsh took a late right ride on the streets of Seoul. Midnight in Seoul and there's a million dollars worth of technology cruising the streets. Welcome aboard the Seoul Late Night Autonomous Bus. This is one of the world's first driverless buses to get a public route through a major city. Autonomous one. Have we started? Are you feel? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same. It's like a normal bus. The driver's ride. not driving. The driver's not wow. touching the steering wheel. Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> there are some caveats. It's a night bus. You have to wear a seatbelt, and technically there is a driver sitting behind the wheel just in case anything goes wrong. The funny thing is, I thought that seeing that would panic me, but it doesn't. There's been a couple of moments when he's had to take control of the wheel, but by and large, this is as smooth as any regular bus that you'll take. It's only a start. But the bus's creators say that it's the perfect solution to Seoul's transport issues. There are fewer people who want to drive buses, especially at night. So we hope these cars will fill the void. One day, we won't need anyone at all to operate this bus. Do you see one day every bus being autonomous like this? Of course, it will change, and it has to change. These late night travelers seem to enjoy themselves. Since there's also a bus driver sitting at the front, I feel a little bit more safe. It's a late night bus, so it can ease the burden on the bus drivers. South Korea is one of only a handful of countries to allow autonomous vehicles on its roads. And it's already spent hundreds of millions of dollars to advance the technology. But as I found out, <laughs> it's still a long way from being perfect. The view that autonomous cars are our future is sheer science fiction and nonsense. On the street, we have dogs, children, weather, and technology hasn't yet sorted all of that out. That may never, ever be solved. South Korea is showing that driverless public transport does work, but only in limited circumstances and at considerable cost. If this is an infrastructure that will make cities more efficient, then there's still a long road ahead. Nick Marsh, BBC News, Seoul.